Every day, people across the globe indulge themselves with a piping hot cup of coffee to de-stress or lift their spirits. Coffee shops are popping up everywhere, and this phenomenon stems from the desire for a place to meet friends, do business, or seek refuge for our aching feet while on a shopping spree. Without a doubt, the cafe culture nowadays is turning the coffee experience into such an important part of our lives. Good morning, America. Uh, okay, first the bad news. Coffee was not born here. Nope, the story of Joe begins in a land far, far away, in the highlands of Kaffa that we now know as Ethiopia. I've been roasting coffee and working directly in the coffee villages for over 20 years, and I've always heard this story about Kaldi, the Ethiopian goat herd who first discovered coffee. Kaldi's watching his goats while they munch on the green leaves and the red cherries of a coffee plant. Well, the goats start to get excited. They start to prance. They start to shuck and to jive. Kaldi watches this. He goes home, and later that night, a curious Kaldi tries some of the berries. He sees a vision of the angel Gabriel. He gets really excited. Something that pleased his wife, or was it the goats? Ha, I don't remember the story. But anyway, Kaldi takes the beans to the local monastery to see the abbot. The abbot takes a handful of these beans, chews on them, and spits out the bitter fruit into the fire, shouting, Pa! The devil's fruit! Ah, but then, out of the fire comes the alluring aroma of roasted coffee. Much too irresistible, even for an abbot. So was born our modern coffee. It's an apocryphal tale written in the 16th century, but its romanticism has stuck. And one thing's for sure, coffee is still grown in Ethiopia.